Damn, man, but I ain't gonna lie, man. I swear though, I, I wish to you. Now, look, let me ask you this, because you real. Do, do, do. You got so much knowledge of history and that stuff like that, even when you, you give me pushback about me using these terminologies, and I know that you got sense to be even saying that, because a lot of people don't even know to say that. Like, hold on, these they turn old. So when you coming like that, When you viewing everything as it, as it went on and everything like that, I know you got to be a man and be, uh, you know, I don't even want to say a soldier, but a man and stand where you stand at. But it's like at the end of the day, we are brothers. You see what I'm saying? That's why that's I was using the, that's why I was using the analogy of like different tribes. I should have used tribes, but that's still the white man term. It, it's, it's whatever because we speak in their language. So I'm just trying to get to the point. Different tribes, different own chiefs. But we all the same. We kind of went against each other because the white man, when the white man conquered us, he, he, he cuffed up some of the Indians or the Native Americans. Then he, that's how they hunted us down. That's where the Marines came from. You know that? Like they, they used to, you know how you know how you, come from. Huh? That's where the police come from. Yeah, but you know how I used to come though? They used to come with the, they marched with the blue coats and the red coats. They marched, shoot each other down in the field. We, we had the guerrilla warfare. I'm in the bushes, I'm popping out of, ah. I'm lacing niggas. Like, that's, that's, that was the natives that taught the white man that. You get what I'm saying? And that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I felt like that poisoned our mentality down the line, down the line, down the line, to where we just repping shit and we got different sides, but we all the same. Nah, was you don't see Jewish people. You don't see was still Arab decent. people. Huh? Black people were still decent. We still decent? No, nah, we were still decent. Yeah, 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 yeah. After all that shit? Yeah. All the way up until Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. Yeah. To the 60s. Yeah, yeah. That's facts, though. That's facts, though. And then it goes. To, yeah, that's a fact, though. So, what you know, I mean, actually, what you know about the, um, what you know about, uh, Oliver North and, um, Gary Webb and, um, you know, the Contra, uh, Iran situation. You know about that? You familiar with that? Mm -hmm. So that's how cocaine got over here. That's what really fucked us up. The 60s fucked us up too, but it really fucked us up when they started bringing that cocaine from Venezuela and shit. That is like the 80s? Yeah, the 80s. That's what yeah. really killed us. 80s to the 90s, you know what I'm saying? Smart. Huh? Smart. Yeah, that's what really killed us, G. I ain't gonna lie. But I be looking at it like, it's a, it's a lot of that shit. Yeah. I be looking at it like, oh. So gangbanging started around then. Yeah, yeah. You know Gang banger been started, but it get that's where it got deep from what it was. Yeah, that's where it got deep. It that's when niggas started getting the machine was. guns because the machine guns and shit was coming from. I'm telling you, but before that though, that's yeah. what I'm saying though. Like most gangs start off trying to protect their community. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Crips, the GDs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every yeah, gang you yeah, want to yeah. talk about, yeah, the Stones, I mean? yeah, Rickers, yeah. yeah, all them shit. They yeah. start off as some shit for they specific set of people yeah. to protect themselves from the outside Black Panthers. Of started from the Black Panthers. Yeah. yeah. When they split up, then yep. that shit, all them shit start happening and shit mm -hmm. like that. Around the same time they start their shit, all food them start starting their shit too, basically. So, from so you familiar with COINTEL Pro with J. Edgar Hoover, yeah, his program? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Sure. So that's what really, that's what, yeah, that's what's crazy. It's a lot of that shit. It, it, it's, it's, I don't know, bro. It's like, they never, like, you ain't, you gotta understand. They whacked out a president for finna do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To make this, try to make shit equal. You know what I'm saying? So like, y'all gotta understand the niggas that's in charge of this shit. Every fucking decade, they do something to niggas to push them back. Mm hmm. From, I can tell you who was in office. They signing fucking bills. Niggas get caught with a brick. His ass get 200 years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Nigga rape a motherfucker get 20 years, 15 years. He yeah. come home Rape a baby and get 15 years. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. He come home with eight. You see what yeah. I'm saying? So it's like, this shit is different. Yeah. And it's 90s. Bill Clinton them. Fucking Biden them. Hillary Crime Clinton bill. Them. Yeah, yeah. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, Irish them. Them type super predator people. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They back in office right now. Fucking. On my mama This shit right ain't now. nothing. Go, you hear what I'm saying? So you got to pay attention to this shit. Like, the 80s you had Reagan smoking niggas. Feed this and that shit. Um, Put that shit out there to their ass, you know what I'm saying? That's All their ass in group, so you gotta know this shit. No, no, that's a fact. You ain't saying nothing wrong. So but I got, wanna... They been destroying niggas. Like, and then uh, they separated the family, destroyed the niggas. They got the kids already. Now they focus on one particular part of the people of our community. And they defend to do away with their ass. And once they do away with their ass, it's over. I'm seeing it right now, just the way the music getting set up, the way public propaganda, the way all this shit going on. Mm. It's already bad, but 
This shit finna be fucking bad. Yeah. Oh, this shit finna be fucked up. I'm full of you took the words on my mouth, bro. You yeah, said you said about the music, but I want to. I'm a. I'm it's a, a it's everything ain't just music. It's movies. Yeah, it is. It's it everything. Is, it is everything. It's what you see on TV. It's VH1. It's yeah. yeah. This shit started off with not else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like they been fuck niggas. I'm talking about nigga. When I say nigga, I'm talking about black people. I'm yeah. talking about men, black dudes, black little uh, boys. Because mm-hmm. the niggas before us was already fucked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like a fucking couple generations before them was fucked. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right, for sure that. And I ain't cut you off. I'm I mean I ain't gonna lie, you yeah, you, you got good conversation. I am finna I'm finna lead into something else with that. You said uh because I got like three questions in my head. I ain't gonna lie, you, you got that shit, brother. Um we talking about um what you said, you said um Biden, you you spoke of the crime bill about the, the Drugs here, this is gonna come to me in a minute. I'm finna, I'm gonna just move on. But look, all right, so do you know how powerful your voice is? That's what I was gonna say. Do you know how powerful your voice is? Now, look, Dutch, got the whole world in his crew seeing gang clouded up, big clout, clout this. Hit me out. You got the whole world saying that. Do you ever see yourself putting this message out there that you like? You got a lot in you outside of that, you know what I'm saying? Because you grew up, you was a baby when you came up with that. You just talked about that. You was a mm-hmm. shorty, y'all was kids. I now do you, is just people don't listen. Huh? I do is people don't yeah, listen. Yeah, yeah. But every I, now and then I put it in music. Yeah. And it'll be a whole about, you know? Yeah. Even like, I don't know, every, not even every now and then, and a lot of songs, especially like. But, but answer this though, songs. do you know how powerful your voice I, even is? Like, do you know music, how powerful bro, your voice is though? For sure, I know All that. Right, go ahead, it's go just ahead. y'all don't, cause people go don't ahead. choose to listen to it in the form I'm giving it to. Go them. ahead, brother. And that's on y'all. Yeah. But if you listen to any of my songs, a lot of my songs is a, a is a is coming from a conflicted person because mm. a lot of shit I do I don't want to do. Mm-hmm. A lot of shit I am I don't want to be. Mm-hmm. A lot of shit what it is I don't want it to be what mm-hmm. it is. But it is what it is. So I'm just telling y'all how conflicted I am. I can y'all bitch you gotta understand it though. You gotta listen. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you I know this shit. Like I think that I know how niggas supposed to move, what niggas supposed to do, what niggas not supposed to be doing. I, know why shit the way it is and why it's gonna be the way it's gonna be type shit i know that i'm ain't supposed to live how i'm supposed to live but i have no choice because as self-preservation a, as a man how i am i have to be self-preservation is yeah, first law of nature you got to protect yourself at all times that's so a fact that the matter we grew up in a now we grew up but before it was societies and shit. It was motherfuckers living in the wilderness. You got to protect yourself from harm's way. And that's a fact that I'm at. I respect it, brother. Yeah, for sure. Though. Damn, G. I ain't gonna lie to you, brother. You, you, you a different type of dude, like, on the real. I ain't even capping when I'm telling you yeah, that. you just be out there sitting down with me and talking with me. Probably mm-hmm. not the first time, the second time, but you'll get, start picking up on things before no, I find you, you know? I picked up on it the first time. Most people, I, I don't know, because some of them tell me I'm preaching, so I don't really just be like telling them, talk, talking to people, because I see nah. see me like I'm, a nigga be like, he think he know it all. Nah. That be a nigga problem. Yeah, that be a nigga, that's, the, that's nigga's problem. That's nigga's problem. <laughs> that be a nigga problem, he think yeah. he know it all, but I don't think I know it all. Yeah. I just type I just see like something it. you don't see. I'm sharing it with you, brother. Type shit. I'm on my mom. That, you agree with what I'm saying with that? I just see something you don't see on my mom. I be telling motherfuckers that too. People tell me I think I know it all too, but I definitely don't. I definitely humble, but I just, when I see it, it's like it's blatant. I got to share that with you, brother. But it's wow. like, you know, sometimes I just shut the fuck up just to, like I said, I told you that when we first, first ever interviewed, I said I dumb myself down sometimes. I be saying yeah. that. You know what I said? I don't yeah. even remember that. But yeah, that's yeah, for sure. I mean, it, mm-hmm. I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't preach no nigga, tell nigga that I want to do I just try to tell a nigga what's best for them, not that I'll be quiet. I'll let a nigga run their show type mm-hmm. shit, and they see for they show type shit. Mm-hmm. I spoke, because I seen, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know, bro. You just got to learn, bro. I like learning shit, because I know that history don't do shit with people. Yo, so.